Hello YouTube. So I'm going to be reviewing the Parlux 38000 uh, compact, eco-friendly, ionic and ceramic. I bought this about um, almost almost a year ago. I might have bought it almost a year ago. Okay, so this is going to be an accurate review of the of how long this blow dryer actually lasts. It still works as good as day one, and there's like scratches here as you can see. I've dropped it maybe two or three times, like bad in the salon, and uh, it still works hot as day one. Um, if you're used to a bigger blow dryer, then yeah, this might feel light to you, but I have had lighter lighter blow dryers than this. Um, the the heat settings it has zero medium and max you can't really see it on my shitty webcam but there's uh, three heat settings three three power settings um, this has really strong blow power like it blows really strong which if you're like me I don't really care about the blow power I care more about the heat so to the average person that I've met anyway they think that the heat on this is amazing. Like everyone who's used my blow dryer has said they wanted one because the heat, they loved it. It was so hot. But for me, personally, I have had a hotter blow dryer than this. Um, it was called the, uh, it was called the Suji. I'll write it in the description box. Um, it's an unknown brand. Many people don't know about it, but it, I've never had a blow dryer hotter than that. I could get Latina curly hair straight with just the blow dryer. That's how hot it got. The only issue was that it got too hot. So over time, within like a year, that blow dryer became so hot where it might burn somebody's hair off. So I had to throw it out. But um, this one's been about a year and it's lasted longer. So I guess like there's there's pros and cons. Like it doesn't get as hot and it doesn't get curly curly hair as smooth as as the Suji Pro did. But um, it works. I mean, it's better than the average blow dryer. It's definitely up there in in the top three blow dryers I've ever used. It's probably second best. Second best to the Suji. This this would be the best. Um, this definitely beats the Suji in longevity, but like I said, doesn't beat the heat. But but the Suji eventually got too hot. Um, the cord on this. How long is this cord? I don't know how long it is, but I do know that if you're blow drying a client's hair, um, and you say the say the plug is on is on the is on the right side of the wall, and you're going around to uh, to the other side of the client's chair, this blow dryer cord might not be long enough, and so you might actually have to like put it over them. All the hair stylists out there, you know what I'm talking about. You have to put the blow dryer cord over the client, and it might end up like rubbing against them, and you don't really want to do that. I mean, the client usually doesn't care, but you still don't really want to be doing that. And so, like, this cord is, it could be longer. Like, I wish the cord was a little bit longer. Um, what else could I say? Yeah, it's been... The back here is detachable, so you can like clean off this part. But I mean, it, most blow dryers have that anyways. Um, it comes with two different size uh, nozzles. I like to use a bigger one. Uh, hmm. well, overall, I w if you want to buy a blow dryer, and um, I mean, you're not interested in a blow dryer. If you want a blow dryer that lasts a long time over a year. The, the Parlux is definitely a good blow dryer. It's a solid buy. I don't regret buying it. The only, the only reason why I have any negative views on this is because I've had a hotter blow dryer before. Directly before this one. So when you're used to a blow dryer that gets like curly Latina hair straight and you go to something like this that, that costs almost twice the amount and it doesn't get it as straight then you kind of get let down, but for the average user, this is definitely a really good blow dryer to use. Okay, so that's my review. The cord is probably about three feet long. No, sorry, not three feet long. About <laughs> about two meters. About two meters long. Okay. 
So I hope that helps. I got the pink color. So I bought my Parlux 38,000 compact hair dryer from myhaircare.com.au. Um, it's the only thing I've ever bought from them just because they had the best deal out of everyone else. Um, right now, the, it looks like the Parlux is on sale for $148.49. Let me just click buy now and see what happens. Yeah, they give you a free tail comb and they give you a free Voguati professional brush if you buy it now from them. I think I remember paying around $300, maybe more than $300, about $300 for my, for my blow dryer. Yeah. So I'll put the link in the bottom for the for the Parlux um, for where I bought it. Anyway. Uh, I I do remember their shipping was good price. Like I live in Canada, they're all the way in Australia. Their shipping was good. I remember calling them and asking them a question, and the guy on the phone was really nice and he was really helpful. Um, it came exactly when it was expected to come. It was it was really good. It was a really good uh, website. They were very reliable. So I would suggest buying it from there because I remember them having the best deal then, and now it's only one hundred and fifty dollars. So I think it's definitely worth it for one hundred and fifty dollars. That's what that's cheap. I paid almost twice that. Okay, now this blow dryer company advertises the blow dryer as being very silent. I mean, I personally don't really think it's that quiet. I don't really think it's that quiet at all. I've had more silent blow dryers before this, but it's not bad. It's not really loud either. Um, as you saw, it was sucking in my hair. You have to be really careful when you're blow drying people's hair. That's fine and long because their hair will get sucked right into the little, the little, um, the little netting there. And like you know, as you all know, it will get caught into the little whirlwind thing in there and pull, their, rip their hair right off. So really be careful about the back here, using it to to cool off the hair when it's on the brush. Just be careful. Make sure that all the hair is tucked away in the brush so that it doesn't get caught in here and rips the client's hair out. Obviously, you don't want that to happen.